Inventors. This week we are going to turn our designs into real life toys. So the questions we're going to be asking ourselves this week, how can I turn my toy design into a real life toy? And then we're also going to be asking ourselves what materials do I need in order to make my own toy? So I mentioned before that the toy I'm going to make is going to be a puppy dog. And I already, um, we already shared in one of our morning meetings last week about all of the create, creative ideas that you guys came up with. Now, when I sent these baggies home in January, I didn't know what you were going to be designing for your toy. So I tried to put some different colored fabrics. I tried to put, um, your stuffing and your glove. For some people I put um, other little random beads or fabrics that I thought you might want to use for your toy. Um, but if you chose to make something that maybe you need other fabrics for, you can um, try to see if you can find some things around your house or you can just use the materials that you have in this bag. You're going to need the materials in this bag and then you're also going to need probably like a hot glue gun or some sort of fabric glue. You're gonna need um, an adult's help for this today. So it might be a little, little bit of extra work for um, your family members who are helping you, but um, we'll just try to do our very best to create our ideas, um, or to create our toys from our ideas. And um, we'll just do the best we can. Regularly, if we were, were in school, I would try to help you with all of the gluing and everything. Um, and so just do the best you can with your family. Um, that's what we've been doing all year long anyways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I'm gonna make my puppy dog. And then after uh, you watch that, maybe you'll feel inspired to um, work on your toy and then you can use your stuffing and your glove and your fabric um, to create your toy from your toy design. Okay, inventors, I'm gonna go over a couple of the things that I did to help me start preparing myself to make my toy. I got out my hot glue gun. Um, if you have some sort of fabric glue or even super glue, that might help you, um, but don't do that by yourself. You need um, a parent or an adult in your life to help you with that. You might need some Sharpies or some colored um, markers. Of course, you need your glove, you need your stuffing. And then what I did was I found some of these pom-poms around my house and I started thinking about how I could create the face on my toy. So I used my sketch and then I figured these would be good for eyes. In fact, They'd be great for eyes. All I have to do is use my marker, kind of have to press hard to give um, some little eyeballs here. If I press really hard, I can kind of <clears throat> get some eyeballs. And then I found this brown pom-pom, craft pom-pom for the nose. And then I took a little part of my pipe cleaner and I just folded it a little bit so I could get the mouth for my dog. So now I'm going to stuff my glove and I'm gonna have to figure out how I want to do it because like I said this is gonna be the front of the dog and then it's gonna have two ears so I might have to figure out what to do with this side finger right here because I have to somehow try to make two ears. So I'm going to have to figure that out um, before I start gluing. What I'll do first is I'll stuff my glove. All right, so I got my glove all stuffed. The hardest part was the fingers. I had to press down really hard. I don't know if that happened to anybody else, but that was definitely the tricky part for me. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some glue and I'm gonna glue it um, closed so that the stuffing doesn't come out anymore. So I'm just gonna quickly glue it closed. 
Don't use any kind of glue like this unless you have an adult with you because it can be kind of dangerous. All right. So then once that's all glued shut, I was thinking to myself that I kind of want to create my own ears. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually just going to glue back one of my fingers as well with my glue. So this I'm not really gonna use as, as an ear for my dog. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of glue and I'm gonna glue it back. So I'm gonna, these are gonna be the legs for the dog. This will be the face and then I'll create my own ears. So the next thing I have to do is I have to figure out how much of my fabric to cut so I can try to cover the glove up. So you might, this might take a little bit of planning out with the adult who's helping you today. Um, you might have to kind of measure out how you can cover your glove and you might have to either cut around it or you might have to me measure how you are able to do that so that you can cover your glove, but so that you can still keep the fingers or the other parts of your glove that um, you wanna turn into different body parts for your animal or for your toy. <laughs> All right, my friends. So this is kind of a picture of my ending product. You can see I have the little dog's legs right here. A little bit of my glove is showing. I tried my very best to fill it with as much fabric as I can. And you can see the mouth right here. It's a little bit dark, but I'll show you um, live on one of our team's meetings. And then I glued on little ears to the side of my puppy too. So you can see that it's really awesome. You can turn everyday objects into toys and hopefully have a lot of fun with it. So make sure to clean up all your materials. I know I have a lot to clean up after that project. So make sure you help your family and tell them thank you for helping you today with our inquiry lesson.